Hey guys, my name is Rishabh Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani. And this video is about how I got 326 marks in Bitsat. Guys, Bitsat is less than one month from now. And hence I thought that uh, I should make some videos related to Bitsat because I've not made many videos of Bitsat from a while. Okay, so I'll start the video by telling you about my education. So I went to school as well as I went to a coaching called Fitji. I was quite consistent but at the end I had some nervousness and I lacked the confidence required to ace exams like these. One of the most important things before you step in any exam center when, when you're giving JE or when you're giving BITSAT is that your confidence should be really high and it is high when you score good in mock tests and all of these. So what happened is that in the end, when I gave exams like AI square TS and AI TS, then I performed really bad and that is why my morale was down. Still, I had confidence in myself. I had confidence in my preparation. And then I realized one of the big mistakes why I am lacking is that because of my revision skills. So there is not any big skill or any secret funda behind it. But what I'm trying to tell is that don't just keep reading the theory. Don't just keep uh, looking out for new stuff. What is left? What is that? What is, is my syllabus covered 100%? Don't go for that because you're in your last month. So it's very important that you cover everything that you have, that you have covered till now, because that's where you will score. Other than that, in the, in these 30 days, what you can do is that you can cover new topics, which are easy, like biomolecules, polymers, or other topics, you know, related to these. These topics are very well covered in NCRT and whoever asks them, if, if you talk about Bitset or J Main, they give those questions straight from NCRT. I would say that mainly for these chapters, your NCRT should be covered 100% because you have to ask yourself a question. What do you think? What is easier for you when you are giving an exam? Is solving a question even if it's easy you can make silly mistakes like you can make calculation mistakes but how can you make a calculation mistake how can you make a silly mistake when you remember a stuff okay so that is what i'm going to tell you is that please cover those easy chapters because if questions come from uh, some of those easier chemistry topics okay then 100 percent you will be able to solve those even if even from other hard chapters of chemistry which deal with remembering like inorganic chemistry then you should also remember them because it will help you in both j main as well as bitsat so please make a note of all that things which are necessary to remember and try to go through them every night if possible and also make a certain formula list because these are very you know important short notes if you have you if you have not made short notes till now then you should make from now on because you will be i hope that you are beginning to revise the things you should revise the things now you have covered what you have to cover now it's very important that you revise everything and keep solving papers keep solving previous year papers i would suggest that you that you prepare for both j main and bitsat uh, unless your plans are really different i don't know so mainly people who have come to bits pilani whoever i have talked to everybody prepares to for both j main as well as bitsat and when they prepare for both j main and bitsat then they generally give those j main previous air papers they solve everything uh, what i know is that in the end of month of june there will be j mains and in the start of month of july there will be bitsat so i think it's a very good thing because if you think you you are preparing right now if you prepare for the next 10 to 15 days for j mains then your concepts are clear and your revision is done now bitsat comes after five to six days depending on your shift then you have to just look back on those concepts and in those five six days or more than that you can solve bitsat mock tests in a way j main will help you for bitsat or you can go vice versa if you are preparing for a bitsat first shift you will be revising for the j main second shift so this is the way i think this schedule will help you another very important thing which i want to talk about is about what you would do when the exam day this i think you should try from now on in your papers also because then only you will be able to do these things in the exam hall the thing is paper attempt strategy 
what i think is that you should have a very solid paper attempt strategy because you may falter in the exams if you don't have a paper attempt strategy in your mind from now on and you should implement in all the tests you are giving from now which i expect you are giving or either you may solve the previous year questions if you have not solved them yet please don't solve uh, the previous year questions which you have solved okay don't resolve them because they may give you a fake confidence yeah so the paper attempt strategy i used to follow is uh, solve the paper in three levels i saw this you know paper attempt strategy from atp stars video so from that i got uh, this idea and i followed it and worked really well for me so what happened is that what i used to do is i would begin the paper i would see the next four or five questions the easiest questions of those four or five questions i would solve them and then i would go on to the next four or five questions and keep on doing this i would start with chemistry then i would go to physics or maths generally i used to go from chemistry to maths and then physics because of uh, my own personal preferences you may do what you like to do and this i used to do so in the first five questions i would see the easiest question and then i would solve them then i go to next five questions then i would solve the easiest questions first of all i have solved all the easy questions of the whole paper then i'll go to the medium ones and then i'll go to the you know hard ones in exam hall there may be problems you may uh, think a question easy and it may turn out that it is very very lengthy then you should leave that at that moment and move on to the next question this is what should uh, what you should do and yeah please be cautious while giving your bitsat exam be very cautious avoid silly mistakes and also keep confidence in yourself whatever your preparation is your aim should be whatever you have learnt till now you will revise it in the 15 to 20 days from now on and you will definitely score good because there will be your competitors who may lose to you because they do not have the confidence which you have so it's very important you should have a good confidence not over confidence i'm not saying that but you should have a good confidence level and you should cover everything whatever you have learned till now and please cover all those easier chapters which you think and remember all those facts which are uh, important and yeah in this way you can pretty much do well in bitsat thank you for watching and yeah subscribe the channel for more bitsat videos upcoming on this channel thank you for watching